Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I'll be reading The Remarried Empress episode 132. Due to Webtoon's new policy, I do have to blur this episode, so it'll be 50% of it covered. And it does involve the cat logo. I'm sorry, this is never Webtoon's policy. I have to oblige or else my channel will get copyrighted and it will be taken down. So please be understanding. And for anyone who wants to read this, that is private and it does not have any censorship, no cat logo, and also you guys get early access to all my other reads for the month of August. They're available on patreon.com slash CKT Chaotic. Let's go ahead and get started. Oh, here we go. A few years ago, at Viscount Lotatius Rimwell's estate. A few years ago. Ugh. Heavier. That's our empress. She's amazing. From what I hear, she's more than just a pretty face. She's also kind to her subjects. <laughs> I wonder what she usually thinks about. I doubt she worries about things like having too much laundry to wash. Or how her hands hurt because the scrapes on them haven't healed. Or how her fingers feel like they're going to fall off because the water's freezing. She lives in a different whole in a whole different world from me, after all. Hey, slave, what are you doing in my room? Uh, are you planning to steal something? Uh, no, of course not. I was just looking at her portrait because I like her. I'm not a thief. Just, huh. I guess you're not completely without taste. It's my painting. Don't look at it. It irritates me when you do. I was just looking at it. Would, would the Empress give me a warm smile? If we were ever to meet? Would she smile at me? Huh. That was such a naive thing to hope for. Please don't cry. If you cry, you will make everyone around you feel sad. What are you doing here all by yourself? How is it possible for such a kind man to change so drastically overnight? The former empress must have done something. She seduced Prince Henry when she was in the Eastern Empire. And, and now she's going after Grand Duke Kaufman. She didn't like the fact that the Grand Duke is interested in me. Honestly, she acted so high-minded, but she actually the loosest woman there is. Anyway, I just remembered an important document that came into my possession with your majesty's name on it. A document that mentions my name and is something that her brother can flaunt in my face? That could only be one thing. He challenged me to find it, but where could he have placed it? Russia. Uh. <clears throat> the Remarried Empress, Episode 132. Your Majesty! He does not look happy. <laughs> You're an empress. Be mindful of how you act. Pardon? What are you referring to? I'm not expecting you to be at Navier's level since you're from different backgrounds, but you should at least hide your shortcomings. Shortcomings? Must you... As the empress of a nation, make such low remarks to a newlywed couple? It could have caused a diplomatic incident. Huh? I doubt Navier will escalate it into a full-blown crisis as she loves her homeland, but you have still disgraced our nation. He's not here because what I did last night with the Grand Duke made him jealous? Doesn't your majesty care about what she said to me? The former empress told me to treat your majesty's new lover like a sister, and her brother threatened me. How did he threaten you? He... 
her brother mentioned a document from my past. Did he say he has it? Pardon? I, I don't know. What? He already know about my slave cell document? I, I don't know what document he was talking about, but he said he left it behind in the palace when he was banished. I couldn't find it when I searched. The it wasn't there? Did you lose my traction transaction papers? Why? Why did you keep such an important piece of information from me? Wait, that was from her? Why did you keep such an important piece of information from me? Oh, that's pure rage coming out of her. D huh? Henry? Henry, are you alright? You look pale. My queen. I know it might sound like an excuse, but it appears Grand Duke Coffin drugged me with something yesterday. The Grand Duke? Does it have something to do with why you shut yourself up in your chamber last night? Yes. Come on in. I didn't sense any magic and it wasn't poison. Yet, as soon as I drank the champagne he offered me, my body felt like it was paralyzed. It must have been a lot of a love potion. He punched Sovatiu. Hmm. And now he's resorting to potions. The fact that he is this flusters mean he must have interacted with someone after taking the potion. He we entered into a marriage of convenience, so I did steal myself for the possibility that he might take another lover. But I don't want it to happen like this. What about the effects? Are you still feeling them? No. Yeah. Then why do you look so scared? Uh, Henry? Henry, look at me. Henry, my queen. I didn't want to hurt you by being unfaithful. I didn't want to become someone like your ex-husband. Oh. It's not your fault, Henry. This incident... I love you, my queen. What? He loves me? Henry loves me. Mm. I can't find my mouse. <laughs> so, for one, we just witnessed Rashta break her character and slash out on Sovatiu and it caught Sovatiu off guard and I wonder if that's gonna like instill some sort of fear into him We're like oh my god I need to be very careful with this girl because she's actually becoming too much to handle or I don't know I think he needs to start watching his his back now because she's getting kind of scary she's starting to blame Navier for every little thing and it's so annoying like oh yeah Grand Duke Kaufman likes me but then suddenly suddenly Navier, Navier got super jealous and got super insecure and now she's stealing Kaufman from me too it's just, it's just a lot it's it's a lot bouncing back and forth back and forth so Rasha shut up <laughs> but here I kind of appreciate that Henry was straight up and honest and apologize like hey i'm sorry i was unfaithful but i kind of wish he kind of like told her a little bit more but then again navier was super understanding which is so sweet like you know like it's really rare to meet someone who's like oh you know like i understand you know it happens oh you know very reasonable and like would be like oh you know are you gonna do it again if you are then just tell me and if you're not, then should prove it to me if I should trust you. But so she's she's very reasonable and I really admire her for that because a lot of people out there like Rashta would have freaked out like, no, how absurd. But anyways, tell me how y'all, let me know what y'all think of this episode. I think this is very sweet and very eye-opening because a lot of people from all sides are like, they're opening their eyes now. One, to Rashta, and two, to pretty much Henry owning up and Navier accepting, maybe, 
his love. So, all right, guys, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I will catch up with you guys next time.